What Elsie and Mari understand is, in many of the journeys back from the front, with ambulances filled with men, quite a lot of those men really had survivable injuries. But the journey was quite um, t it was quite slow, it was quite dangerous, the roads were very, um, shuck, very cratered um, and the journeys were longer than they should have been. So at the end they were finding that someone had died in the back of ambulances who really could have survived if they'd been attended sooner rather than later. And it's this feeling that these survivable injuries are, are, are just not being managed and men are dying unnecessarily that impels them to break away from Munro's organisation and to set up their own thing. That's absolutely in the spirit of Elsie and Mari. You know, that they like to run their own show. Um, they want to make their own rules. Um, they, want to, they, they, want to make, they want to work as hard as they can. They don't really want to be hanging around waiting for petrol rations, waiting for orders. They just want to roll their sleeves up and get on with it. So they leave the organisation on reasonable terms and they get out to this little village this is what it was like before the war actually broke out. And by the time they arrived there in November, sorry, this is a map which isn't very interesting, let's go on. <laughs> by the time they arrived there in um, November of 1914, there are very few standing buildings. That bit of the Isar front has been pulverised by German bombardments. There are very few houses left standing in that little village. But the benefits of that location are that, there's, there, that they could be um, settled only 100 yards from the German trenches, and that's the thing that meant most to them, because they want to provide what we now know as kind of golden hour treatment, stabilising patients within the first hour, settling them, and looking after them until they can be sent to more specialised treatments. And Elsie and Mari, that was really their focus, that was their modus operandi for their entire period in the First World War.